Are you looking for a unique ornament that you can hang on your tree this year or something a little different or just something that you've made yourself? Well, please join me because I started out making an ATC card or an ATC coin for a swap. I pulled out my encaustic wax and I want you to check out my ATC turned Christmas ornament using encaustic wax and an image that I pulled from the public domain. Welcome to my channel. My name is Peg and I call my channel Two Old Crows. I like to do short process videos. I'm infatuated with journals. I also am dabbling in encaustic wax and there's just a lot going on over at my channel, a lot more things that I'm getting into. So if you like that, please hit that subscribe button and join me. I always appreciate the likes and of course that notification bell lets you know when I upload additional content. To get started with the ATC coin, the ATC coin is two and a half inches in diameter. I didn't have a two and a half inch hole punch, but I did have a bronzing wax that just happened to have a two and a half inch diameter lid. So I have drawn my circle utilizing that on a piece of 140 pound watercolor paper. I'm going to cut out the 10 coins that I need for this swap out of that paper. And because I want to utilize my encaustic wax, I need a little more substance, so I've pulled out my Yes Paste and I am going to glue them to a sheet of chipboard. You could also use cardboard, um, anything with, to add some more structure. So once I have those glued down and they're, they're nice and dry, I will cut out around the outside edge of them and to make sure that I have a good, consistent, smooth line around the outside edge of that circle. I'm going to pull out some fine sandpaper and just go around that uh, diameter of or the perimeter of the circle. So it is, is nice and smooth and clean and it gets that real, almost like it was punched with a two and a half inch hole punch um, display, if you will. So now we have all 10 cards and I have printed a image from the public domain. I just pulled it off the public domain down into PowerPoint. I took one slide and duplicated it the number of times that I needed. And I cut that out with my uh, cutting tool and glue it randomly. No, well, not necessarily randomly, but glue it with my glitter glue onto that coin. I want to be able to add some color and texture around the outside edge of him to make him appear even a little more vintage and a little older. So now that we have all of those glued down, I'm going to take it over to my encaustic wax station. I have heated up the encaustic wax, which is a mixture of beeswax and Damar resin. I'm working off of an electric griddle with a metal pan that I heat that wax in. And I will put three coats of the clear wax onto my coins. I will fuse at the end of each application. So once I have that wax down, I'm going to fuse it until it glistens and then go back. Now you can see in the upper right hand corner, the pan pastels in brown and gold. I've gone around the outside edge with brown and now I and then fuse that and I am coming back with the gold. So once I get the gold into place, I will fuse once again. And I just use my finger to put the pan pastels down. I mean, there's little smudging tools or application tools that come with the pan pastels. I happen to work better with my finger. It, it, it does make for some messy hands, but I'm okay with that. I like to, to kind of feel the work. Now, when you're fusing this, you want to take it right to a glisten. The one thing that I have a tendency to do, and you will see it here, is I get a little too much heat to it, get a little too close, and you can see 
those colors run. If that happens, wax is so forgiving, you can just go back, add more color, add more wax, whatever you want to do. The other thing that you can do at this particular point, when the wax cools a little bit, you can take something to add a little texture, a beaded chain, you can see one up in the upper left-hand corner of your screen, a piece of burlap, etc. Once I get those the way I want them to look, I am pulling in some archival black ink and going around the outside edge, just to give it that framing, if you will. I have written 2022 down the strip of paper here, and I want to add that, but I decided to put a little bit of my rust stained cheesecloth behind it. So I've pulled out just some little pieces of cheesecloth. I'm going to glue that 2022 to the cheesecloth and then put it down on the side of my ATC coin now ornament. I'm just deciding where I want it to go. Once I have it into place, I will glue it down. And I'm just using the glitter glue to glue that into place. But I want to make sure that is nice and secure there. I've pulled out my craft pick and I'm going to put a hole at the top of that 2022 and at the bottom of the 2022. And you can see my brads over to the right and I'm going to place a brad in each of those holes. I've also put a hole in the center of the top and pulled some jute between, through it and tied it into a bow. So this completes my ATC swap for my ATC coin swap, but I have made it into a coin that the recipients can utilize as an ornament on their tree if they so choose. So I hope you've enjoyed. Thank you for stopping by and joining me. Please subscribe to my channel and give me one of those thumbs up. That helps promote my channel dramatically. And of course, that notification bell lets you know when I upload additional content. have a lot of things coming up on my channel next year in 2023 and will be announcing what I plan to do soon.